Welcome to another video. If you are new to my channel, I am Kay Porsche or Kayla, whichever one you want to call me. If you are a returning subscriber, hey, 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 thank you so much for watching another video. If you are not subscribed to my channel, please consider subscribing and don't forget to hit that notification bell so you don't miss another post from me. Again, if you haven't watched my previous videos, I stated that my post days will be Sunday and Thursday. However, if I miss a week or if I miss a day, I will keep you informed, let you know. So for the most part, I'm hoping that I can post two times a week. If not three, I'm going to try for, I'm going to shoot for three, but you know, it gets hectic around here. So We'll see about that. Today's video will be an Amazon haul. I have been purchasing so much on Amazon, guys, and it has just gotten out of hand. And I realized that I haven't shown you all any of it. And that's mainly because I'll order something and then it'll get here. I'll open it up to make sure it's, you know, not broken or anything like that. And I'll throw it upstairs in the lounge. However, we are now working on the lounge slash movie room. That video will be coming up soon. Super excited about that. But we're now working on that room, so I can't continue to throw things to the side up there, basically. So it's forcing me to go ahead, unbox things, get things set up and decorated more, um, which is a good thing. In order for this video to not be too long, let's go ahead and get started. The first two things I will show you will go in the master bedroom on our nightstands. So these are water canisters. And it's super helpful because both my husband and I take medication kind of throughout the night. So these will definitely come in handy. Now I will admit they were bigger than I thought. I really wanted them to be half the size because I just feel like this is so large. Like who's drinking this much water throughout the night? But I mean, it's a possibility, but I'm not. But, um, so I just really need like a little swig, you know, to take my medicine with, but here we are, we have this, so we're going to make it work. These are super cute though. I really love them. I love the idea of them. I love the convenience of them. So yeah, we're going to make it do what it do with these. Also, speaking of the master bedroom, I ordered these decorative, uh, books. And I'm going to probably use them for the nightstand or maybe the dresser. And they are just super neutral. The colors of my master bedroom will be all neutral tones, white, ivory, cream, gray. So these will match perfectly. It's pretty much just an empty book. So we really could turn it into like a journal if we wanted to, but I'm not sure about that. It's just going to be used as decor for now. So super cute, I love these. And just in case I didn't state it already, everything that I discussed in this video will be listed below in the description box. If it is sold out, I will still try to link it just in case it does come back into stock. If you watched my last video, which you should have, I decorated the master bathroom with you all. In that video, I told you all where I got everything from and these towels were listed in that video. And y'all they are just so plush and pretty like look at these and for the price like you literally cannot beat these i got a full set i actually got two or three full sets so in the set it came with two hand towels two bath sheets if you're not aware bath sheets are longer than regular bath towels and that is why i picked these because my husband is six feet tall and he doesn't need a little bitty bath towel you know to dry off with so i definitely wanted to go with bath sheets look at these like just look at the material like it's such a good material for the price like you definitely can't beat it and look how long it is like i can't even show the whole thing but look how long it is so I'm definitely team bath sheets over bath towels. So I spoke about the lounge earlier and how we are starting to decorate it. So I bought this super cute blanket. What I like most about it is it's white, white. It's not an off white. You know, it's not like a, it's not like an ivory color. It's white, white. As you see, this ribbon is like an ivory color, but this is pure white. 
Um, so I think it'll look very beautiful on the couch upstairs. Let me insert a clip of the couch so you all can see. You look so small on there. <laughs> no, God, that's a big unit right there. I like this one. Yeah, I like that too. Mm -hmm. Just a little insight on how that room will look. So I will have, again, pretty neutral tones as I do not like color. So um, we're getting a bar up there and we're getting a corner cabinet for a concession stand. Um, up there as well. That'll actually be here installed next week. So I'm super excited about that. But the colors of the bar are pretty much the, the colors of the room. The room up there is of course a deep, deep gray. So the bar will have gray, black, white, um, silver. You know, I wanted to keep those tones and, you know, have a cute little, have cute little decor accents throughout the room as well. So this is what I decided to start with. And I'm super happy with this purchase. It looks like it'll shed really bad. So I have to keep you all updated on that because you know, it is like a super soft, like cottony material. So I hope that it does not shed but again i'll let you all know but it's super pretty literally everything else that i have to show you in this video is for the kitchen so initially i just wanted nothing on the countertops and i still want very very minimal in the kitchen however i do plan to add some decor in this corner over here and i have purchased a few things for this corner as well as this one over here so i'm going to see how it comes out if i if it starts getting cluttered it gotta roll because i do not like a lot of stuff um, on my countertops. So we're gonna see about this, but I'm excited to show you all everything that I got for the kitchen. With these purchases, you will see a pattern in colors or lack thereof. It's pretty much wood tones. I have a lot of wood tones. I have a lot of neutral colors. So be prepared for that. Just know that's my thing, that's my tea. So first thing I wanna show you is this super cute recipe book holder. Again, natural wood tones, black. I feel like it looks really clean and it really matches everything else in the home, especially the living room. I'm starting to update the living room as well, so I can't wait to reveal that to you all, but it really flows well with it being an open space. So I feel like this uh, recipe book holder is a perfect addition to the kitchen. Again, I haven't used this, so I'm not even sure if it's set up correctly or anything, but when I do get it set up and have a nice book on it, I feel like it'll look really great in the kitchen. Also for the counter decor, I have purchased these beautiful canisters. So it did come in a pack of three. So we have a large size, we have a medium size, and we also have a small size. These canisters will more than likely go somewhere on this side over here. Let me move you all so you can see. Not sure exactly how I'll set it up or if I will leave this right here or if I will like lay the black uh, cutting board down, place these on top and maybe move the wood um, and maybe move my wood utensils over in the corner. Um, I'm not sure exactly what I'm going to do with the space. However, I know that these will probably be the newest addition to that side over there. I do use my wood utensils, so they pretty much have to stay on my counter because, you know, it's just easy access while I'm cooking. So I just have to figure out exactly how I'm going to set that up. I do like the decorative items that I purchased to be functional as well. So in those canisters, I will have things that I actually use while I'm cooking. Just like the wood spoons that I have over there, I actually use those. So they're functional and they're also decorative. And also speaking about decorative wood tone things that can be useful, I also picked up these. They are super, super beautiful. They are just made so perfectly. And once again, they are functional because I will use them in my home on a day-to-day -day basis. Now, I will admit, I thought these were going to be much smaller because on the picture, they seem like they're like itty bitty, small enough to scoop things out of the jar, the canisters that I uh, got over there. However, they came large, like, Oh my God. So that's what I get for not checking measurements and things like that. I really have to do better with that because I'd be like, oh, that's cute. And I get it. And it's not the size that I want. And I can't even be mad because I didn't check the measurements. So I'm still going to use these. No harm, no foul. Counter decor. I picked up this 
from Amazon. Now, the vase is not from Amazon, it's from Anthropology. We'll get into that in another video once we actually start decorating the kitchen. However, this pumpus is from Amazon. It is great quality, beautiful, beautiful, beautiful pumpus. I love it so much. I feel like it'll be a great asset to the counter decor. All right, guys, so I also picked up this super, super cute organizational tool for Ziploc bags, gallon bags, sandwich bag, quartz, and snack bags. Especially having a toddler who is starting to do everything on her own, she can just reach into the drawer and grab whatever bag she's looking for. So I think that is a really awesome addition. What I really like about them is the fact that they come separate so as i just showed you they're put they're all together to fit in a drawer however if you don't want them all in one drawer or you just use certain ones they are actually separate pieces i personally use all size ziploc bags so i will probably keep them you know packaged so i will probably keep them all together however you don't have to if you don't want to so I love that that is an option for you as well. Again, another item that has not been opened yet, but we will crack it open soon, are these bedside table trays. For the price, amazing. So this size will probably be for Aria. She is my four-year-old, so she can use a tray that's small. I can probably use the middle size and my husband can use the large size. This was purchased primarily for the lounge upstairs because we just have that huge couch, but we don't have anything to like sit our snacks, popcorn and things like that on. So I really bought it for uh, the couch upstairs. However, we'll be using it all over the house pretty much because you know, they are portable. They are, you know, lightweight. So you can pretty much travel throughout the house with them. So I love that. Looks like they'll be good quality, but I have to follow up with you all to let you know how I truly like them. This next product, I am truly amazed by the quality of it. It is so beautiful. These black bowls, now, originally I bought them as decor. However, when I'm done using them, when it's time to switch out the decor, I will use them as actual bowls that we eat out of. So they're not your typical deep bowl. However, they are very modern, contemporary looking bowls. You can actually use this for many different things in your home. So I will use it as kitchen decor for now. However, if I wanna pick it up, move it, use it on the coffee table as a catch-all or to hold beads or a candle, uh, anything like that, you can pretty much take this all throughout the house and use it wherever you see fit. Y'all remember when I told y'all that the blanket looks like it's shed? Look at that, shedding. So, I don't know about that. It'll probably it'll probably be strictly for decor. It's already not giving what it's supposed to give. So, uh, we'll talk about that later. But uh, these bowls, awesome, awesome, awesome buy. I would highly recommend these. Um, and I will, in my future videos, I will try my best to uh, move these bowls around to show you, you know, the many things that you can do with them. You can literally have it in your laundry room as decor, in your kitchen as decor, in your living room, on the coffee table, on the fireplace mantel. Uh, you can use it for open shelving. So it's so many things that you can do with this. I really appreciate items that you can use all over your home so you don't have to constantly be buying decor and things like that because it can get very very pricey that's what this channel is for to show you all how to decorate your home and be cost efficient and be functional at the same time so bam this item beautiful 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 however i did not get it from amazon but i did see a board just like this for literally half the price on amazon I will try to link it. However, it has been sold out since I saw it, but I will try my best to link it if it's still there so you all can get it when it's back in stock. I'll also post on my Instagram at envyme underscore KP when I do see it in stock so you all can purchase it because I paid an arm and leg for this. I don't even gonna lie. This one is from Pottery Barn and I can't remember the exact price. I'll write it below somewhere around here, but uh, it was hot and the one on Amazon was only like $20. So yeah they got me y'all they got me but i'm just gonna keep this one because it's super beautiful and it's also gonna go over here on this side as decor this next item 
that I have are these beads. I can't remember how much I paid for these beads. I will link them below. Hopefully, it, <laughs> hopefully I didn't pay too much for them because they are super flimsy and super light. Literally can only be used on top of a book or something like this as decor or, you know, in a vase or on a coffee table because it is not the best quality <laughs> super cheap super cheap it feels super cheap but i mean if you're only using it for decor it it'll get the job done but because i'm using it on my coffee table or on my dresser in my bedroom it'll be good for that so yeah so i would recommend it only for that reason because it's literally going to be laying there and i'm not going to be using it on a day to day because I don't feel like it'll hold up if I am using on a day to day. So that's why I would still recommend these. Now, if you watch my other decor video where I talked about the beads that I got from Target, now those highly, highly, highly recommend. Awesome price. It's more expensive than these for sure, but it's worth the money. If that's a decor piece that you're gonna be moving all around your home and not just sitting on a coffee table or not just sitting on a dresser or something like that, I highly recommend the ones from Target. I'll link those as well in the description box. So I would 100% pick those over these. However, it just depends on what you're using it for. The last few items that I have to show you are just so amazing to decorate with and it's something that I honestly never ever thought that I would be decorating with until I got older and my style started to change. I bought a ton of coffee table books. Now, coffee table books will be used all throughout my home. As a matter of fact, four of them will be used over in this area when I decorate the countertop. Two of them will be used in the master bedroom on the dressers, and a few of them will be used on my actual coffee table and on my fireplace mantle. I started to realize that coffee table books can be used throughout your home. And again, I love items that you can move throughout the home so you don't have to buy more. I have the Magnolia table book, of course. You can get this from Target. I'm not sure what the price difference is on Target and Amazon. However, I was buying this with other books, so I did get a sale on it. So I went ahead and bought this one. Now it is at Target, so keep that in mind if you'd rather just go ahead and pick it up as opposed to waiting a few days for it. But we're seeing a pattern in colors here. The aesthetic of it all is most important. The colors that they have on the side matters the most because I will be using it on my countertop and it'll be set up more than likely this way. Also for my kitchen, of course, this matches perfectly. And this is the last kitchen book that I bought. I will say these last two books are my favorite, favorite, favorite. They are just so beautiful. Like the aesthetic, the aesthetic of them, the, the look, the simple look of them. They are just so beautiful. This one is, this is home, the art of simple living. And it's actually a book that I will look in. Like the, the kitchen books are more than likely gonna be for decor, but this one, it seems like it's something that I'll actually like to look in. Because just look, boom, bam. And going back to these beads, if you have this on the coffee table and this just laying on top, look at that. Boom, decor. Your coffee table is halfway done with just these two. It's lit, the coffee books can be lit, okay? And the last book that I got, again, just beautiful, aesthetically pleasing. If you remember, the colors of my master bedroom are gray, white, cream. This book ties all those colors together so beautifully. So I can't wait to decorate with this one as well. That is the end of my Amazon haul. I hope you all enjoyed this video. I hope you will return to my channel because that notification bell is hit so you don't miss my next few posts. I believe the next video will be me decorating my kitchen. However, I did want to go ahead and get a uh, review done on my impressions vanity. So let me know in the comments which video you like to see on Thursday. Would you like to see a video on how I decorate my kitchen? Or would you like to see a video on me reviewing my impressions vanity and unpacking all my makeup, y'all? It really don't make no sense how much makeup I got for somebody who don't even really know how to do makeup. So, but that's a video for another day. So let me know which video you like to see. Kitchen decor, 
vanity review. As always, thank you so, so, so much for watching this video. I love you all. I appreciate you all so, so much. See you next time.